Hi, I'm Tori, and I'm with the Parks Department for the City of Fort St. John. Today, I'm standing beside a Schubert Choke cherry tree, uh, and it's in order to highlight a problem that we all are facing, and that is black knot, which you can see right here. Uh, black knot is a fungal disease that affects predominantly cherry and plum trees, both ornamental and edible. Um, it's a good idea to assess all of your trees in your backyard just to make sure that you haven't missed any. So this is a really good example of what black knot looks like in its mature uh, stage. As you can see, it's a black mass or knot and it's surrounding a branch. Um, there's a few reasons why this is such a problem. Uh, one, it eventually is strangling this branch and it's going to kill it. Uh, two, is now an entry point for other diseases, um, infections, and insects. Okay, so we're asking, what do we do about this problem, this fungal problem? Uh, we need to do, first of all, early recognition is important. So when we mentioned earlier to inspect all your trees, there's a few things to look for. This is actually the mature fungus stage. So it actually starts out as a small brown swelling and it's going to be near new growth or last year's growth. Um, it can be really hard to identify with leaves out, uh, so it, it's a challenge. Uh, that is eventually going to grow into a larger mass that is a more olive green uh, and um, it has more of a velvety texture to it. Okay, so a demonstration on pruning the black knot out of your tree. First step, you're going to make sure that your pruners are sharp. Next, you're going to assess what your black knot is, where it is in the tree. You're going to want to prune a minimum of six inches away from the end of the mass um, and all the way up to 12 inches. And that's in order to make sure we capture any of the uh, internal growth of the fungus that might not be visible yet to the eye. So I'm going to actually come all the way back to where this uh, next branch is coming out because that's a good place to prune. Uh, now we have our black knot removed. Okay, so now that we've removed the branch that's infected with the fungus, we're going to bag it. And you're going to have more than one branch most likely, so you can add that and have a large trash bag. But when you're done, or that's full, you're going to want to tie that tightly for either garbage collection or to take directly to the landfill. You don't want to compost this material though because the spores can remain active for up to four months after you remove it. Um, alternatively, you can also burn it and that is uh, very effective at, at destroying the fungus. Okay, so very critical uh, stage in the removal process is between all of your cuts and after you're done completing with your pruning, you're going to disinfect your, your blades. Um, you can use either isopropyl alcohol, which is what I happen to have on hand at the moment. So you're just going to wipe the blades off with that. You can also use pine salt works, rubbing alcohol, or a bleach solution. Um, so bleach and water mix. Now, this is important because you can accidentally spread spores after you've removed that other infected branch to your next part on your tree, which is a healthy part ideally when you remove uh, the following branch. So um, this is a very key stage. So in summary, with uh, dealing with black knot, you're going to want to monitor your trees annually. You're going to prune them as needed. Uh, you're going to dispose of the waste properly and you're going to disinfect your tools. So with dealing with black knot, we definitely all have to work together for this. Sometimes it can be overwhelming. Um, it can be a highly infected tree. If it is, don't hesitate to call an arborist or a tree removal company. They can help you. Uh, and talk to your neighbors. All citizens have a part to play in, in this endeavor. Um, the best and simplest way though to help keep rid of black knot in our area is if you're planting new trees, don't uh, select any uh, trees that are in the prunus genus. This will be indicated on the tag uh, what it is and that does include your cherries and your, uh, your plums.